Hey, what's up, people? How are you guys doing? My name is Akash, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm really happy and excited because the most awaited phone of 2018 is finally here. I have got my hands on the OnePlus 6. This is the 128GB Mirror Black Edition. This sells for 40,000 in Indian market. I booked it on Amazon on 21st and it got delivered on 22nd morning. The delivery was very quick. Before I unbox the product, let's talk about the company OnePlus. OnePlus was founded in 2013 by Carl Pei and Pete Law. The company aims in selling high-end smartphones at affordable prices or I would say the right price. The company has a cool motto which says never settle and I would ask you not to settle for anything less. The company has sold great phones right from the first model which was the OnePlus One. I bought the OnePlus One when it came out and I had no issues with the phone. I used it for one and a half years. Then I skipped the OnePlus 2 and bought the OnePlus 3 which was an amazing phone. I've also used the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5 which my friends own and these phones are amazing so I had to get my hands on the OnePlus 6. So let's not waste any time and unbox the product. So the packaging of the OnePlus is same as OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 5. I guess the Avenger edition of OnePlus 6 has a black box. Um, so you can see the 6 engraved on the box. So the 3 had 3 and the 5. Uh, on the side of the box it says the speed you need. Behind the box you have information about the model which says it is the A6000. There are the IMEI number. Uh, on the side of the box it says it is manufactured by Oppo Mobiles Private Limited. So this is manufactured in India. So I've already removed the cover of the phone because the delivery guy insisted that I open in front of him and that was right also. So let's unbox the product. I'm really excited. I haven't seen the phone. Uh, so, so that is the OnePlus 6. It looks amazing. Uh, this is the same as the OnePlus 5T. The size has not changed. They've only increased the screen. Now it is a 6.2 inch screen. So let's remove the phone and see what else is available in the box. So in the box, you get the charging dock and the cable. This is the dash charger, which is very quick. And uh, here inside this, you... Oh, they have also given a cover. So this is a silicon transparent cover and you have the documentation and the sim eject tool and there's nothing else in the box. Let's power the phone and see how it is. Before that I want to do one thing. I want to peel this off. Uh, the satisfaction you get when you peel the sticker. Uh, this feels really good. The back looks crazy. It's insane. I can literally see the camera. So let's power on the device. And it's on. So it feels really good and sturdy when you hold it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set everything, my Google account, install all the apps and everything and use it for at least three days. And then I will give you a review on how the phone works. So I've rigorously used this phone for three complete days and I must say I'm really happy with the performance of the phone. The moment I connected this phone to the net, I got an update from the company regarding the ultra slow motion. Uh, I've used the phone a lot. I did a lot of multitasking where I switched between apps and I also played the game PUBG which requires high GPU and CPU. The first thing I want to talk about this phone is its display. It has a huge 6.28 optic AMOLED display with a body to screen ratio of 83.8 inches. The screen is vivid and the contrast is really good it has a resolution of 1080 to 2280 pixel so the only downside to this display is its infamous notch but then oneplus has given you a provision of facility where you can hide the notch completely so it won't be a problem for you talking about the body of the phone the front and the back panel is completely made of corning gorilla glass 5 so that will protect your phone uh, there is an aluminium case holding both the glass together. The processor of the phone is Snapdragon 845 with Adreno 630 GPU, which is the latest you can get from Snapdragon. I played PUBG for almost one hour and I did not find any lag and the graphics were so good. The OS of the phone is uh, out of the box you get 8.1 Oreo with uh, Oxygen OS 5.1.3 which is the latest Oxygen OS. Uh, the Oxygen OS is very smooth, there is no bloatware. It gives you a very stock Android feeling. 
Talking about the camera of the phone, it has a dual camera setup. The first camera is a 16 megapixel f 1.7 uh, with uh, optical image stabilization. The second camera is a 20 megapixel f 1.7 again but with no image stabilization. The front camera is a 16 megapixel f2 with image stabilization. Both front and the back camera takes really crisp pictures and videos. This phone can record 4K at 60 frames per second. Uh, the video quality is really good. It can also record ultra slow motion at 240 frames full HD and 480 frames 720p. It can record up to one minute of video and then you can select where you want to slow down. Unlike iPhone 10 and S9 which gives you only some seconds of slow motion. So this phone has face unlock feature which unlocks the phone in 0.4 seconds which is really fast compared to iPhone 10. It also has the fingerprint sensor which unlocks the phone in 0.2 seconds which is very fast compared to S9. Talking about the battery life, I charged the phone once and I used it rigorously the entire day and it still had juice at the end of the day. It had around 20% at the end of the day. I played PUBG, I used, my net was completely on. I was switching between Wi-Fi and the mobile network and the battery life is really good and it is all thanks to the new Snapdragon 845 processor. The only downside to this phone is one, it's notch. I would really want OnePlus to get rid of it one day. The second downside uh, to this phone is as a videographer, I make videos for YouTube. I shoot a lot of B-roll. Uh, there is no manual mode for the videography. So I have to install third party app like Filmic Pro to record video. Third downside is not with the phone it is actually with uh, the accessories the phone provides the accessories are very expensive like you know if you see mi mi provides their accessories at a very cheap cost the accessories for oneplus is really expensive so overall this is a really good phone for 40,000. it can easily beat iphone 10 and s9 uh, this is worth the money. I would suggest people to buy it if your budget is somewhere between 40 to 50 thousand. So that's all for today. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with everybody out there. And one more thing is that the giveaway is still on. I'm giving away a smartphone gimbal. This is Xcam Side 2, a two axis smartphone gimbal. You can get those buttery smooth tilt up and tilt down shot using this gimbal. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook and comment down below why do you need this gimbal and I'll select one person at the end of next month and I will send out this gimbal to that person. This giveaway is open only to India. So if you're in India, you can participate in the giveaway. So that's all for today and see you soon. Take care and have fun.